in my last video, I explored the awesome possibilities that were created by forcing water through tunnels. In this video, I want to show you another mill, this one, the Beverly Chapman Mill, and explain a little bit of why the geography of where you place these kind of powerhouses was so important. Now, what I find the most fascinating about this entire setup, and maybe why they picked this location, was obviously it's the end of the rapids. But look at this big spine of rock here. That large spine of rock, whether intentional or not, separates the river into sort of two sections. You've got the output from the mill here and the calmer area where uh, the mill would have been situated. It also protects the mill from any flooding, anything like that, where if the water overflew its banks, at least it would hit that big spine of rock and not impact the mill here. So it's a way to be really close to the water, yet really control how the water is being used to run the mill without overpowering it. Last thing you want was for um, the mill to just be at the whim of whatever the flow of the river was. You need to control it. That's part of what this sluice box here does. See this gear at the top of it? That was used to control the exact amount of water being put into that wheel. 